Hello guys and welcome back to the Darwin Setup Guide. In this third video I will show you how to set up the hoop clamp on the Darwin. Um, basically there are two adjustments you can do with this hoop clamp. The first one is you can shift this hoop clamp um, from left to right or actually it depends a little bit if the pedal is played as a single or as a double pedal. With this setup as shown here the beta is in line with the hoop clamp. So, you may, so with this setup you made sure that the beta hits the drum head in center when it comes to left and right. The other position um, shifts the hoop clamp in line with the, with the main pillar. So the hoop clamp sits symmetrically between both beaters, which is also super cool because usually when you have a double pedal or a single pedal, the slave beater hits way off center and you will hear and probably feel that difference. So this setup is usually just yeah, necessary to do once in a while. To do that, you just need to remove both of these tension rods that holds the hoop clamp in place completely. Then you're able to shift over the hoop clamp to the other position and tighten them again. Um, the second adjustment is a little bit more interesting, I guess, um, because that allows you to shift the hoop clamp back and forward and line it up with your beta or Let's say you, with, with that adjustment, you make sure that the beta hits the drum head on its highest point with the most energy. I made a few videos about this um, thing and the few behind that in the past, so I'll put links to them in the description as well, if you're curious a little bit about that. Basically what you can do is, um, depending on the drum set, the hoop, the practice pad you play on, the distance from this locking point here, to the surface of the drum head variates a little bit. So you can compensate that by just loosening these two screws or these two tension rods and then you're able to shift the hoop clamp back and forward. There's also a third one underneath that helps to keep this hoop clamp in line and also there are reference marks. So you're also always able to find your setup when you play on different drum kits now and then. So to explain you or to show you a little bit easier what this setup is all about, I just take a practice pad and move the hoop clamp all the way back. And you will see that the beta hits too early. I mean, you can tilt the, the head of the beta in order to compensate that, but that setup is not really ideal. And also if I go all the way out in that case, I think the beta, probably you can see it, over rotates a little bit in this setup. So that's also not ideal. So I like to have the hoop clamp a little bit further back, tighten that again, put on the pad again, and I think that's pretty dead center in that example. So this is one setup, or this is actually the very first setup I recommend to do when you get your pedal and when you set it up. So yes, with that being said, let's go on with part four and I'll see you in the next video.